This LOS is compare nominal and real GDP and calculate and interpret the GDP deflator. First we'll start by looking at nominal and real GDP. Real GDP is GDP calculated as if the price level did not change. Real GDP per capita is often used as a measure of the standard of living. Nominal GDP is GDP unadjusted for any price level change. So the relationship is nominal GDP equals the PT, which is the price in year T, times the quantity. Uh, QT is the quantity in year T. But real GDP equals PB, which is the price in the base year, times QT, which is the quantity in year T. Nominal and real GDP. So the GDP deflator, or the implicit price deflator, reflects the amount of the GDP that is associated with the change in the price level. So here we have the formula for the GDP deflator. In the numerator is the value of the current year output at current year prices, divided by the value of the current year prices uh, output at base year prices, times 100, okay? Real GDP equals nominal GDP, divided by the GDP deflator divided by 100. So nominal GDP, just rearrange the algebra, is going to be equals real GDP times the GDP deflator divided by 100. Okay, you can put brackets there if you want. So example, if uh, nominal GDP is 16,988.3 billion and the GDP deflator is 106.775, what is real GDP? So you use the formula up here, real GDP, the numerator is the nominal GDP, divided by the GDP deflator divided by 100. So you're going to get a um, real GDP equals 15,910.37 billion. So we'll just do a quick practice question to check our understanding. The numerator of the GDP price deflator reflects A, the value of the base year output at current prices, B, the value of the current year output at current prices, or C, the value of the current year output at base year prices. Okay, that one should be fairly easy. It's just memorizing the formula, a lot of memorization in CFA level one. So again, the GDP deflator, the numerator is the value of current year output at current year prices divided by the value of current year output at base year prices times 100. So the correct answer is B, the numerator of the GDP price deflator reflects B, the value of current year output at current year prices. We'll do another quick practice question. If the GDP deflator values for 2008 and 2010 were 190 and 212.8 uh, respectively, which of the following best describes the annual growth rate of the overall price level? A, 5.8%, B, 6%, or C, 12%? Okay, I like this question because it just put on a little bit of a twist and you have to use uh, something that we learned in the quant section, which is the, really the compound annual, annual, uh, annual average growth rates. So A is correct, and how do we calculate that? You're taking the 212.8 divided by the 190 to the power of 1 half, uh, minus 1 equals 0 0.0583, or 5.8%. So you had to calculate the, you just took the um, 2010 value divided by the 190 to the power of 1 half compound annual average growth rate. And that's the last slide for this LOS. Thank you.